At that time, the disciples said to Jesus, Ha! Huh, now you are speaking plainly and not using figurative speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need anyone to question you. This is why we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Behold, the hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each to his own home, and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, verses 1 to 8, we hear a mention made of the two great sacraments, baptism in the name of Jesus and confirmation by the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul stresses that these are essential for the authentic Christian life, more than following a standard of moral conduct signified by the baptism of repentance, what matters is the personal encounter with Jesus Christ and life-giving Holy Spirit through whom we would be, we would be led to the Father. Without this personal encounter, they would, they would continue to grapple with darkness. In the Gospel 2, we see Jesus predicting the sc scattering of his disciples. That is very evident in today's Gospel reading, that the time will come that you will be scattered. But I am not alone, he says, the Father is with me. Now, if we have this encounter, the personal encounter with Jesus, because it is Jesus who introduces his father to his disciples. When he says, when disciples ask him, shows the father or teach, teach us how to pray, Jesus says to them that call my father our father. And when they ask him, shows the father, he says, if you have seen me, you have seen the father. Then it is Jesus who introduces to his disciple the Holy Spirit. And that's why in today's, gospel, in today's uh, first reading, we see that Paul asked, have you received the baptism? They said, we have received the baptism of John. Then he says, you received the baptism of Jesus Christ. And laying up hands on them, they all received the Holy Spirit and they speak in tongues and prophesy and later on very boldly St. Paul goes and preaches to the Jewish community in synagogue without fear. Yes, my dear sisters and brothers, it is the Holy Spirit which will give us the confidence, strength and without fear we can say that Jesus is the Lord of the universe. We must be careful to free our hearts from everything that might get in the way of the pure love of our beloved Jesus. He is love itself and wants to give himself to us through love. Jesus is calling us all the time. How long are we going to remain deaf to his voice? During this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask for this grace and let us also pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as we are nearing the greatest feast of all times, the Pentecost, this coming Sunday. So let us prepare our hearts and mind to receive the Holy Spirit and boldly proclaim that Jesus is the Lord and King of the universe. <laughs> 